Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll create a free Microsoft Fabric account, that is a personal account, using Microsoft 365 developers account. So, let's start. Here, in the Google search, we'll type set up free Microsoft Fabric account. Once we enter, we could see different links here. We'll open the link, a step-by-step -step guide to enable Microsoft Fabric account. This is the official Microsoft link where we have a blog which has mentioned the step-by-step -step guide to enable Microsoft Fabric for Microsoft 365 developers account. Let's go down here. Here is the intro of the Fabric account details. Here comes the step, the prerequisites. First prerequisite is Microsoft 365 developer account. So we'll click on this hyperlink, open it in a new tab. It again opens a blog where if we go down below, you could see the steps. How to sign up for Microsoft 365 developer account. First step is you'll need a Microsoft account that is at the rate outlook.com. To create one, visit this. So we will open this hyperlink, which is signup.live.com. Let's right click, open in a new tab. Okay, it will ask us here, it will ask us to create account, get a new email address. So we'll click on this, get a new email address so that we can give a new email address here. Demo fabric at the rate outlook.com. Let's click on next. Next, we have to give the password. Next, we will click on the next button here. We have to give our name, first name and last name. Since this is for demo purpose, I'm writing here the demo fabric. Now we have to give the birth date. Let it be India. Let's select it as click on next. Then we have to add the security information. So we'll add as We have to give the phone number. Click on send code. We'll add the access code. We'll click on next. Next page displays your Microsoft account brings everything together. This page will be displayed and we'll click on continue. Stay signed in so you don't have to sign in again. Let's click over this and click yes. Wait for some time. So here is the first page of our demo fabric Microsoft account which we have created. Okay. Now we are back to the page of the creation of Microsoft 365 developer account. The first step we have done, the creation of Microsoft account. Next is upon creation of this personal Microsoft account, proceed to this link. So we'll right click, open it in a new tab. Here it says, join the Microsoft 365 developer program today. We'll click on join now. It will open up this page where we have to fill in the details for joining the Microsoft 365 developer account. Here it will show us the login, the Microsoft login which we have created. It will automatically take that login and show us the details, first name, last name and the email through which we have logged in to this 365 developer page. We have to select the country. So let's select India. Company will write it as student 
language english check over the conditions terms and conditions next click next what is your primary focus as a developer you can write personal projects click next what areas of microsoft 365 development are you interested in let's select power platform save and here we could see a new setup page will appear set up your microsoft 365 e5 sandbox so among these two options we are selecting in this example instant sandbox we'll click on next if you go at the top it will ask us again the region to we'll select asia pacific for india admin username let's select as demo fabric only the admin username admin password it has to be between 15 to 20 characters so meet the limit we have entered the admin password and we'll click on alternative password 2 and add the password all fields are filled let's continue here it will ask us again our phone number let's click on send code let's type the code received in your number click on setup setting up your developer subscription now it's in progress this operation should take only about a minute let's wait after a minute click on refresh and under the developer program dashboard you could see your microsoft 365 developer subscriptions page here in the page you can see that our admin account is shown as demo fabric at the rate some id dot on microsoft dot com and here there'll be a hyperlink to go to the subscription so we'll right click open it in a new tab our subscription e5 subscription and here on this page it will show us the demo fabric sv rvs account which is the e5 account microsoft 365 developer account so we'll give here the password which we have entered while creation of the e5 subscription sign in here it says action required we'll click on ask later we'll check this and say yes to stay sign in and here the page appears here it welcomes us to the microsoft 365 account we'll just skip this and so the microsoft 365 account is set up we'll open a new page and write app dot fabric dot microsoft dot com here we can see that the login is default taken as the microsoft 365 developer account which we have created we'll click on ask later and here is the power bi home so this is the first page of the app.fabric.microsoft.com we require to do a setting important setting here so we'll go to the gear option here settings at the right side and go to the admin portal here under the tenant settings the first option is microsoft fabric preview users can create fabric items just click on it by default it is shown as disabled for the entire organization we'll uncheck this option and mark it as enabled enable it to the entire organization to specific security groups etc these settings we need not change we simply have to uncheck this and enable click on apply here on the right side we could see a message tenant settings changes will be applied within the next 15 minutes so we'll wait for another 15 minutes and we'll try to re login 
to app.fabric.microsoft.com. Let's come back here after 15 minutes. But before that, I want to show you if we go here on the left side, you can see different icons. We go to the workspace. We are inside our workspace. So we'll click on my workspace. And here in my workspace, if you click on plus new, you could see these options related to the Power BI, where we can create the report, paginated report, etc. Here we are not seeing the options related to the fabric. So once these tenant settings are enabled in the 15 minutes, we could see other options too in the workspace. Okay, so let's come back after 15 minutes. So we'll sign out from the fabric. Let's try to again log in. So it will be app.fabric.microsoft.com. We'll select Demo Fabric account. That is the Microsoft 365 developers account, which we had created. Let's give the credentials. Click on sign in. Ask later, don't show it again, stay signed in. Now we are in the fabric page and in the home page, we can see data factory, Synapse data engineering, data science, data warehouse, real time analytics. That is the Microsoft fabric options are enabled here. Let's explore data factory. If we click on data factory here, we can see that we are in the current workspace, which is my workspace and data pipeline is shown here. And if we go to the my workspace here on the left side on clicking plus new, we can see all other different options of Microsoft Fabric. Previously, we were only seeing the reporting options related to Power BI. But since Fabric is enabled, we can see the different options of Fabric. So you can easily prepare a new pipeline. If you click on new pipeline, it will ask us to upgrade to a free Microsoft Fabric trial account. Successfully, we are upgraded to a free Microsoft Fabric trial account prepared with a free trial capacity. Assign this workspace to the prepared trial capacity. Click OK. So our account is upgraded and now we can create pipelines. It will show us a prompt to name the new pipeline. We'll click on pipeline. My first pipeline. Click on create. And here at the top right side, we could see fabric trial 59 days left. So 60 days free trial of fabric is given by Microsoft to use it. So here's the page of the pipeline, which we have just created. The name is here shown at the left side top pipeline my first and we could create different activities. Here we could add different activities and perform different data transformation, which is almost similar to the Azure Data Factory and Synapse Pipelines activities video on how we have created the free fabric account, free fabric personal account, please. So we have to first create the Microsoft account, then through that Microsoft account, that is the Outlook account, we have to create Microsoft 365 developers account. Through that developers account, we have to enable the E5 subscription. Then once that subscription is enabled, we can log into the app.fabric.microsoft.com where we have to enable the setting for fabric through the admin settings. And then after 15 minutes, our free trial fabric account will be ready for 60 days. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. Do let me know in comments if you face any challenge in creation of free fabric trial account. Happy learning. Bye.